Bay Area, it's time to stand up Cause we love hip hop and we can't get enough show love And support to your local artists Go ahead and connect, it's time to get started Pop it in the bank, so let's begin And the party don't start till you tune in So if you really like music, watch the show It's a spot where it's hot and you already know It's the Urban Network Connection 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 Urban Network Connection Thank you for tuning in to the Urban Network Connection, your number one Bay Area music industry connect, bridging artists locally and beyond. I'm your host, Kawana Dyson, and today we are bringing you Shadi from the Bay Area Hip Hop Artists. Welcome to the show. So, um, Shadi, tell us a little bit about yourself, and I know that you've been in the industry um, for some years now, I believe since 19 or 2006, right? Or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, officially... Yeah, you can say that, but officially 2007, I was able to hit the stomping grounds, but I've been doing it since, like, middle school, like, 13, like, 98 or something, but, you know, officially, yeah. <laughs> when you get grown and be mm-hmm. able to push things, like I said, I've been an athlete, the name Shoddy, uh, you know what I mean, uh, North Vallejo, Crestside, as you see. Represent. Yeah, you know what I mean, from the <laughs> Bay, but by right. way of North Carolina, Georgia, by way of Trinidad, Tobago, Jamaica, Kingston, mm-hmm. um, and just, just been in the game for a while, like I said, since middle school, but after doing a stint at Cal and being an athlete and doing those things and mm-hmm. kind of growing and finding yourself, mm-hmm. I always was doing music and the opportunity for, for me to pursue it was in like 07. So since about 06, 07, yeah, I've been pushing real heavy. Now I know that um, you were like the first one at Cal to receive like a full scholarship in track and field. Yeah, and yeah. so like, how did you get transition from being an athlete to music? And like, which one was your first love, would you say? Music was probably my first love, probably was what was instilled in me from the outside before I had anything to do with it. My dad always, uh, story was, my dad always played music, you know what I mean, the moms through the belly, mm-hmm. things like that. I mean, I always had the genetics of sports through my mom and my grandparents, um, but they also were musicians as well. So it was kind of like, a, a as I grew which way was I gonna go? Mm-hmm. I had it from the jump, mm-hmm. um, dancing, making music, and and I had it from the jump with doing sports. So it was kind of a thing mm-hmm. I did at the same time. Mm-hmm. And like I said, when I was able to grow as an adult and um, make the decisions that I wanted to make, I, it leaned more towards doing the music more than doing the, the athletics, even though I still, you know, that's a love. I still train, gotta keep everything right. So I, I kind of use what I learned from athletics into my music as far as self-discipline and and um, deadlines and just goals and going hard and and all of those things plus you know your body and your looks and everything right. sells Make so you gotta exactly. stay on your body right so <laughs> right, being definitely. an athlete helps you knowing little tidbits about routines mm-hmm. and workouts mm-hmm. so now in reading your your profile it said that you were a musician as well and as well as an entertainer and a comedian and all these <laughs> other little different things so like okay so musician what type of music do you play or do you produce or yeah i produce i engineer i arrange i write uh i perform you know what i mean i play the piano by ear mm-hmm. i used to dabble on the guitar like i can pick up and do things never really had the opportunity to take lessons or or learn the specific techniques or you know what i mean how to read music or do notes but you know, self-knowledge, I can pick up a book and learn on my own. Mm-hmm. So, um, like I said, as in anything and everything I do in life, I figure out how to do it on my own, mm-hmm. either whether it's by force or choice. Mm-hmm. I'm going to learn how to do whatever it is I need mm-hmm. to do. So, um, whether it's just listening to the song and getting in front of the keyboard and pressing the key until I hear the right note, mm-hmm. 20 minutes later I'm playing it, don't know how, but I can just hear it. So, I mean, yeah, that's the musician part, but I can get down and make you a beat. I can mix it. I can arrange it. I can record you. Mm-hmm. I can write for you. You know what I mean? Even melodies with the singing and things like that. Mm-hmm. Just kind of, like I said, overall talent that as I keep trying new things and exposing stuff, I'm learning for myself the things that I can do by just pushing and, like I said, using them athletic mm-hmm. teachers to push myself to learn new things musically and music industry-wise, like in business as well. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, because I interact with a lot of artists, especially here in the Bay Area, and I know that just from being around them, a lot of them only knows how to do one thing, maybe <laughs> write or <laughs> or maybe just write and dance or something mm-hmm. like that. But how has, like, being a musician played a part um, in you, in your career as an artist? Like, how has it helped you? It's It set me apart by um, being able to use, I guess, not even a different instrument, not even a different sound, 
but just a different view on how to use things that many other people are already using. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm not really using or doing or saying anything too differently, in my opinion. I'm just giving it from a different point of view that maybe mm -hmm. you can relate to it a, a little better. Or somebody who normally wouldn't relate to it may be able to relate to it. Mm -hmm. Or just to show, oh, you use Fruity Loops? Mm -hmm. For instance, making a beat, I use Fruity Loops too, but I format mm -hmm. it and do this differently. Mm -hmm. And I click this and do that, and they're like, Okay. Oh, that's how you make that sound doing mm -hmm. that? Or, you know, oh, you do this dance move this way? Well, I do it this way. And look how I can then do this. Oh, that's, you know what I mean? It's just a, an exposing of a different type of view um, within it, whether it's music, whether it's creating the music, whether it's writing. And I've been blessed to at least be able to have all these talents and to be able to recognize these talents and utilize them in so many different ways mm -hmm. that I can only, uh, you know, it's only right to spread it mm -hmm. at least and give some type of other way of doing it not mm -hmm. to say your way is wrong right or you know right or wrong or anything but there's always a different view of mm -hmm. doing you know something there's more than one way to skin a cat you know what i mean a swing a bat right just right. you got to network and get with different people get out your comfort zone so mm -hmm. some people who just write and think they can't make a beat mm -hmm. look at me you know what i mean right. sit down i'll show you how easy it is and then you go your own way and be like i can make beats now mm -hmm. and like <clears throat> And listening to your music and some of the work that you've done, I can hear like a little bit of everything in it, like, <laughs> you know, different influences yeah. in it. And um, so who would you say have been your influences um, over the years? Um, music in general has been my influence. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, not not even going specific into an artist or uh -huh. to a, 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 a style or anything, you know, like a whole genre, you know, blues, rap, hip hop the different variations of hip hop, gangster rap, this kind of rap, southern, uh, bluegrass, alternative, reggae, you know, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it comes into people from, you know, Nina Simone to Coldplay, I'll mm -hmm. listen to, from mm -hmm. My Morning Jacket to The Temptations to right. Tupac to Flocka, to, you know what I mean? Right. That's why I kind of feel I, I like the music and enjoy the music anyway. <clears throat> and then in creating music, I want to hear different people's stuff that is a liking to my ear for one and just to be able to get a different idea get a different spark to use and incorporate all the things that I like into the same type of quote unquote uh, flavor or outcome that everybody is kind of used to digesting mm -hmm. but like I said give it to them in a different way right. like you still got that same right. feel from this but I showed you a different way to get there by using these other mm -hmm. kind of sounds and then mm -hmm. I may say this other type of thing and you take it a different way and still have the same mm -hmm. feel, feel vibe of whatever it is meant to do mm -hmm. but um at least it's making it at least it's doing the right. job where you right. recognize you know all the different things and mm -hmm. still it you digest it just the same it's the same old you know apple pie feel but different ingredients now um i saw one of your interviews that you've done with um a, a different radio station yeah. and um i thought i was very impressed with Appreciate the it, um you. your intellect about the history of music and the culture of hip hop and things of that nature. So, um, where you, how do you feel about the state of hip hop right now and how it has evolved today? Um, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, my dad, my dad just gave me a little term, um, and it's based off. I'm not going to really expose the term right now because mm -hmm. I'm working on some stuff. For okay. Him, so I, I'm not going to expose it, but it's from. The root is, is he got it from refrigeration. He was telling me about a little documentary mm -hmm. that he's been watching about basically the same topic, you know, state of hip hop coming from older hip hop's originator hip hops, mm -hmm. you know, Ice T's and KRS ones, right. people like that doing a documentary. And um, he was he, he said, you know, he got a root word from refrigeration as in us as a people, us as a entertainment, mm -hmm. us as the state of hip hop is refrigerated right now right now. Okay. We had a chill spot, a chill state. You mm -hmm. know, they got us on ice. We in the box. Mm -hmm. We ain't hot like we used to be when it was just coming up, and mm -hmm. we had to make noise. Mm -hmm. We had to get our feet through the door. Right. It's flooded right now. We saturated. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like so hard for one to find, mm -hmm. quote unquote, authentic raw talent. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find those that are original in their own sense. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find those that are even hungry to do something to stand out because it's so easy to do the same flavor of the week mm -hmm. and get on mm -hmm. and then try to do something from that or just be the man for the six months, three months of the summer or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. and rock and do what you do and go back home. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? With mm -hmm. whatever little name boost up 
from whatever you had at the beginning. So in a sense, we're refrigerated mm -hmm. as a state of hip hop, and 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 like I say, in a broader spec, the state of music because don't just classify us off as something else. If a part of music is dead right now, quote mm -hmm. unquote, dead, refrigerated on chill, mm -hmm. not doing what it's supposed to be, <clears throat> not expressing the way that it's supposed to be expressed, mm -hmm. then it's hurting music in general. That's one genre, that's one facet of the music of life that people are used to eating and they're not getting it no more. They're not getting it the same type of way that they used to get it or they're not getting it in a way that they're not used to getting that could be more beneficial mm -hmm. than the way they're eating right now mm -hmm. in the sense of the music we're digesting. Right. We just digesting it for, like I said, whatever sense I'm going to the party, let me throw this on. Right. I'm going in here, let me throw this on. Right. And it's a it's a compromise of feeling good. It's not really feeding your soul, feeding your brain, feeding your knowledge, mm -hmm. as well as entertaining you. Mm -hmm. It's just feeding you for that moment. Mm -hmm and getting you in a state that mm -hmm. maybe you're not even normally in that state. Right, but right. when you start to drinking or start to mm -hmm. doing whatever you're doing and throw that mm -hmm. on, now you're a different person. Right. So we refrigerated. We need to get back to something that is hot, that we all agree with, right. that we all pushing, that we all loving. And if it is whatever movement, then everybody get behind it. But yeah. it can't be something that half is divided saying, no, that's not real or, or fake. And the right. other half saying, well, I can do what I want. And the other right. half saying, well, this is new, but whatever. Yeah. When can it be back to just partying and dancing and, oh, somebody else came out and got something to say, let's support them. Oh, somebody else came out and got something to say, let's yeah. get behind that. Now it's, once I'm on, I'm on. Do what I do or don't do what I do, but I'm not finna let you know how I did it <laughs> because right. I'm on. So, Well, I know, like, you make a good point because I know that um, I'm a big hip-hop fan. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, like, originally hip-hop was created as a social type of justice type of platform Release, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so it had a different type of message back then exactly and uh i don't really see where any artists big artists are really you know what i mean like utilizing utilizing that power, that power. <laughs> i mean because it's, it's a very powerful tool it is. like because you is. can really change some things with hip-hop and like so when you write what you write and produce what you produce like what is your goal for the people that listen to your music like as far as um how do you how are you using that tool to spread knowledge to learn something new not to be w without being preachy because it's still an entertainment you mm -hmm. still got to be entertaining exactly so you know what i mean i'm right. trying to be as entertaining as i can and try to be as original as i can and try to be as knowledgeable as i can to something that you may already have a certain ideology or thought about Mm -hmm. I may bring out something new to something you thought you knew everything about. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, that's where it comes into me exposing new things from old things mm -hmm. as far as I may say the same thing or you may get the same type of reaction except I may not put it as blatant for you to just say, oh, once I see that title of the song or I hear that, that line of rhyme, I can get it like that. Mm -hmm. I want to give you that same... Uh, effect once you get it but I want you to think about what? Huh? And then once you hear it, you know, come together it's right. like, oh my goodness it's interesting, it's entertaining and it made me think a little bit right. so you know what I mean, mm -hmm. like that's how I try to use whatever the topic may be. How about we experience that um, video that you have yeah, available yeah, right now. Yeah, we can now. do that, we can do that that's the Take It Slow, official video for Take It Slow uh, written by your boy Shadi Produced by my man Doc Savage out of Vallejo, California. Shout out. Filmed by uh, Sam C. of Real Art for Real uh, People. My boy Sam C. And uh, edited by my my cousin, Jay Nunn, Jeremy Nunley of uh, What's Up Boy Records out in uh, South Carolina. So, like I said, I touch all states, all people. We got to intermingle. And we put together a, a nice little masterpiece, a little smooth track that, like I said, you have a nice experience hearing and viewing this. <laughs> And it might be what you think, it might not be what you think, but you'll understand it if you just give it a, you know, give it a look and listen and it's going. Baby girl, come here, what's your name? I don't eat Playstations, I ain't spitting no game, but I do eat cold, you don't know about me. Diamonds keep my mouth froze to control this heat I speak. All real talking from across the street When I seen y'all walk, baby, I chose you
Cause it's some things I wanna do and guarantee with speed Once I put it on you, you hook Just like a fish bite Girl, you better get right and hit me up this night 911, it's gonna be like heaven I'ma have you open all night like 7-Eleven, no lie I'ma get you high without intoxication And we ain't doing masturbation Straight grown up And when I hit it, show enough I'ma split it, have it feeling like it was so sure Hey And I know that you want me Girl, you know I want you This is what I'm gon' do I'ma put it on you Like a brush supposed to Straight to it, cause I don't And I did it like a real new Putting hard steel in you, baby How I feel in you So high and you don't know why But you glad no joke, not me, she a PYB I'm a go top speed so quick But I ain't talking in the bedroom I'm coming no time soon, need I remind you Close your eyes, go where no one can find you I slide as I ride you, you wet like a monsoon You get to ride too, I lie and supply you Still got your eyes glued shut like a blind dude It's hella dark, but I can find you Because you're glistening and I'm listening to the sounds around you It's kinda wet, grab the towel, boo But don't move, lay down, yo dude gon' wipe you And you can see it's still night too We got a whole lot of f***ing to do But you ain't ready though The way our bodies sound, we the radio I'm tryna have your body swimming and wiggling like spaghetti hey. And I know that you want me Girl, you know I want you This is what I'm gon' do I'ma put it on you Like a brush supposed to Straight to it cause I don't Still in your baby, I feel in you So high and you don't know why But you're glad cause the boy did No words, just size for air Bed staking, legs shaking, I done fried her hair Yeah, but she not tripping, kitty still dripping She ain't move one inch like wood on a park bench Grab a broom, I sparked it And blew smoke on her monkey for the dearly departed The whole game I started Three tugs, hundred and ninety-two yards of retarded In the rain and I had on gloves And with a poke from the stroke coach was giving me love Ten hut, blue 42 check One body hot as hell like a skin paid from the sun I hope you know I ain't done I just need to take a quick nap from the Kit Kat I'm taking a break and when I wake you know I'll be rejuvenated When I put this on a movie I'll give it the booty raid Hey! And I know that you want me, girl you know I want you This is what I'm gon' do, I'ma put it on you Like a brush supposed to, straight to it cause I don't And I did it like a real dude Putting hard steel in you, baby how I feel in you So high and you don't know why But you glad cause the boy did And you saw it right here on the Urban Network Connection That was your boy shoddy <laughs> uh with take it slow welcome back to the urban network connection and we're in the studio with shoddy and uh you have a mixtape that's yeah. that you're coming out or working out working on right now yeah. so tell us about your mixtape well it's uh finished like i said i'm um, waiting for a graphic designer to knock this artwork out mm -hmm. and then it will be on the streets on the nets uh resurrection of music is a title um like i said something that's going to be real informative real knowledgeable real Hip hop, real rap, real lyrical, real entertaining, just another part of me um, showing love to specifically the rap game, the hip hop game of music. Like I said, it's not resurrection of hip hop. As we were stating, you know, the state of hip hop and things like that is dead. I, I see it as a music. So if one part is dead, then all of it is dead. So um, giving the respect and showing the respect as hip hop being music, because like I said, you know, they don't really classify hip hop as music because it isn't orchestrated, it isn't uh, instruments and things like that. They don't see a mic and your words and scratches and DJs and turntables and things like that as instruments mm -hmm. or instrumentation, but it is. So um, that's why it's resurrection of music, but it's paying homage to all of the rappers and those from back in the day that I looked up to and that are the legends and the OGs of the originated and they happen to all be dead. So I'm resurrecting them, mm -hmm. their music along with my style to give, uh, you know, that old school, original hip hop feel mm -hmm. to those that may not know it now. And for those that may have forgotten or, mm -hmm. or been waiting for it mm -hmm. to give it back. But with the feel of, like I said, the new still of, uh, you know, just a way of rapping and, and delivery and things like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's something for everybody that's a fan of music, of hip hop, of rap, and those that may or may not know the history 
you will learn something as well as be mm -hmm. entertained. Speaking of that, that's funny that you um, you're talking about the history of hip hop because I was like with my niece and she's 19, <laughs> and um, I took her out uh, with me the other night to a um, toy drive party, mm -hmm. and um, you know it was playing old school music and she was like. I'm gonna put on some Montel Jordan or something like Bay, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, this is uh, who was it? Um, it was like the hip, the hop, the hip, the hip they played that. Mm -hmm. You know, I forget Did who. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, it was an old school. Dang, I forget who. Uh, it, uh, I just, I just Sugar Hill, <laughs> Hill Gang. Hill That's who it was. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't, you never heard this before, nah. You know, I'm like, well, if you don't understand your hip hop, like, how do you say you a hip hop lover if you don't yeah, understand hip hop Delight history? The, the, history, the they, main rap song. Exactly. Like that, was, that was like that was like one that of was the like first. A template. <laughs> that was like, yeah, exactly. So I'm like, you gotta understand, you gotta know your hip hop history. And then like, yeah. I worked with some artists who don't know who these people are, and I'm like, yeah. you need to get the hip hop history book. There's a bible. <laughs> yeah. There's a hip hop bible. Exactly. Get I'm like, you need on. to get that. Like, how how are you talking about you want to be an artist if you don't yeah, know your they history? Think the Kanye you know what I mean? was the original. Like, yeah. Nah, that was Curtis. Like that ain't that ain't nothing he created. Like exactly. Yeah, I mean it's. I mean some people know, some people don't. Mm -hmm. um, I I kind of take an interest in the things that you like, mm -hmm. and it came from somewhere. I didn't create it, exactly. so I want to know who did it before me and how they did it, and maybe how they got there, mm -hmm. and just to be informative of things, uh, of of things to do, and um, you know things not to do because you see the mistakes. So I mean. It's only right to learn mm -hmm. as well as find your own path, find your own lane or your way to do it. Mm -hmm. So, but you got to, you can't just pick up the mic, which a lot of people just do pick up the mic and just mm -hmm. start rapping about whatever's around right. them. And that's cool. But at some point, it right. came from somewhere, you know what I mean? You're going to have gotta, to broaden it out and at least know, start from what, if, if you're doing rap, who are the other rappers? If you're doing rock, who are other rock? You know what I mean? Right. At least know that if... Tupac was your main person and who was before Tupac or if Big was your main person who was, was Big before. or if who mm -hmm. was you know because it's somebody that was bigger than them in their area that they mm -hmm. looked up to to right. get to whatever point mm -hmm. just to know not to say if you like it or not but at least just to know to be like you know it started from somebody else <laughs> mm -hmm. rather than trying to take all the credit but right <laughs> you, know, you got to learn your history and anything you do exactly so um we're looking forward to the resurrection of music um, mixtape. Are there any collaborations or any special features um, that you have on that project? All me and the R.I.P.s. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's Pox lyrics is on there. Mm -hmm. um, Mac Dre lyrics is on there. Big L lyrics is on there. Um, you know, that's that's really all it is. The mm -hmm. artists that I use, like I said, Pac, Mac Dre, Heavy D, Guru, uh, Big L, mm -hmm. Biggie, uh, who else is on that G thing? Everybody, KMD, Sub right from KMD, Free okay. Ty, Lost Boy, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. All the main hitters from the main places, from right. the eras of when mm -hmm. it was smacking and uh -huh. going and authentic and real, mm -hmm. but new and all that stuff at the same mm -hmm. time, informative, substance-wise, I'm gassing on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that shit, like I call it that shoddy Chevron mm -hmm. with Tecron 91 mm -hmm. premium gas. You know, I put it on there along with them, try to match they feel, but not try to be them, but still be me. But they're coming out because it was exciting. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? To do something like this, uh, a vision of mine, you know, uh, that I seen that I wanted to do, presented to my manager, Superstar Kwamala, and, and we got the rocking on it. Mm -hmm. One day a week, you know what I mean? When I moved back out here from, the, from SAC to the Bay in January, we met back up in um, about February, hashed out a plan. He said, if we're going to do this, you know, you got to be educated you gotta right. let me know you know it's been a long time since I left Cal in 06 and I was a certain type of artist I was a certain type of individual you know right. I was 19 20 I come back at 26 a man with a kid right. <laughs> you know what I mean right. and other type of trials right. and tribulations mm -hmm. from the music game on my own I'm ready mm -hmm. you know what I mean in my eyes and he made me even more ready and more knowledgeable mm -hmm. and more strategical more methodical more aware of self and past and present and all together that it was just exciting to be able to create this idea mm -hmm. to then put it in motion mm -hmm. to then find the songs that just happen to fit with lyrics I already write because mm -hmm. I write to nothing so mm -hmm. I just have lyrics okay and melodies in my phone in my head and then you know it has to be fate it has to be the universe to win mm -hmm. okay we pick this song and then I look at the lyrics and, and I'm like there it is you know right, what I mean right. so is just that's what makes it exciting and mm -hmm. I put that energy and that excitement into making it 
and it came out through the songs, mm-hmm. and it's coming out through the speakers, so it's going to go to them that way, you know, right, as a consumer, right. and they can take it that way. Mm-hmm. And like I said, entertainment, entertaining, knowledgeable, past, present, future, all of that is in there together, mm-hmm. and it shows, you know, time and effort. We got skits. It's funny. It's entertaining. It's like one whole day of you getting a mixtape and hearing it, mm-hmm. and other people reacting to you hearing it, you know. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna give it away too much. <laughs> <laughs> so for the meantime until that mixtape is released, um, where can we check out some of your work online? S H A A D I E is how you spell shoddy. <laughs> Google that. <laughs> okay, well I wanna thank you for um coming on our show. It's been oh, great yeah, having you. Having um, yeah, getting in the insight of <laughs> your intellect and you know, how yeah. you think about um hip hop and everything. So oh, thank you for coming out no and taking problem. your time. To be on our show, <laughs> and um, we're looking forward to um, more from Shadi. Oh yeah, it's more the mixtape sure. and yeah. whatever else you got coming up. So Everything. make sure you keep us connected. Um, so Urban Network Connection feeling kind of old school right now. So we're gonna take you out to a throwback video. Throwback. Check out e- EPMD. You got to chill. You got to chill. The chill. The chill. The chill. <laughs> Your mind, let you constantly free and get down to the sounds of your PMD. But you should keep quiet while the MC rap. But if you tired, then go take a nap. I'll stay awake and watch the show I take because right now I'm about to shake and bake. The E I C K is my name, I spell things to the clientele. Yo, I rock well. I'm not an MC who talking all that junk about who can be who. Sound like a pump. I just get down and I go for mine. Say check one two, I run down the line. To the average MC. I'm known as the Terminator, funky beat maker, new Jack Sterney, destroying a ploy when your rhymes are not void. Never sweating your girl, why pig? Cause she's a schizoid. When I'm on the scene, I always rock the spot. I grab the steel with the crown on top. In the beginning, I like to let my rhymes flow. And at 12, I press cruise control. Sit back and relax, let my rhymes tax. Maintain them C's while the double E max. Always calm under pressure, no need to act ill. Listen when I tell you, boy, you got to chill. No computer information on rap Like the BRZ my kisses I make your toes tap I format the rhymes step by step Make them sound deaf to maintain my rap Prepare to come off in case of a diss Now worry about the thing Cause we can do this I can turn the party out just by standing still Make a lady scream and shout while the brothers act ill Take total control of your body and soul Pack a nine in my pants when it's time to roll I'm the P-E-E-M-D-E-E And one thing I hate is a bite and a seed When I enter the party, suckers always form a line Then they ease their way up and try to bite my lines I did thousands of shows Dish many faces and deal with New Jack on the one to one basis. But every now and then a sucker MC gets courageous and like an epidemic it becomes contagious. But never the least, they all RIP. For all those underwear means rest in peace.